Good evening, folks. Nick DeForster here. Got a little time to get back out and shop tonight. Um, I think it's Wednesday night. Uh, week's gone fairly decent, y'all. If you ain't seen the community post, kind of had a pretty rough Monday, uh, I'd say. Uh, rougher than most of mine, but it happens. Uh, sometimes they go good, sometimes not so good. It just is what it is. We'll deal with it. I'll fix it this weekend. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can always go over there and uh, take a look. Uh, I may go ahead and release this one tomorrow. Um, but got a new saw. Um, picked this one up. Honestly, for the price, I thought it was pretty darn fair. I think I paid shipping and all 115 for it. Um, and I actually don't have a true one of these. This will be the first actual original I guess post 510 series 70 cc saw so to keep y'all or I guess I'll go ahead and show y'all this is what it is 710 automatic seller said it lost spark I mean I've done compression some little b things since it came in it came in yesterday i ain't had a whole lot of time to fool with it um but it does have compression that's with the compression button in with it out i can barely pull it over it's got really good compression um it appears to be all original they said it lost spark so that's what we're going to tackle first tonight um then probably going to hop on the 266 slash 268 build and then uh, might pull down, uh, start tearing into a 82cc uh, McCulloch block because that 850 we put together uh, a while back, I run it some and it lost compression. Um, it's got just enough to run now, so I think think of plating on that saw was very thin i've run it rich since i rebuilt it put new rings in it but i believe the plating was thin on it and it started to flake so that's where we're at on that saw so i got a couple other blocks here still got that one uh got a piston for that one i might uh, go ahead and put that one back together for it put that block back in it um if i can clean up that cylinder a little bit it didn't at least from what I could see, the plating in flaking on that cylinder, it actually just gouged up, looked like something uh, hit the piston on the exhaust side and uh, uh, potentially got some aluminum transfer onto the cylinder. Doesn't look like any of the flaking, or the chrome has flaked. It looked like it was mainly piston. Um, but I had to clean up that cylinder better to really get a good judge on it. And then I've got three others three other blocks um that i've just picked up here and there some i've had that uh i could tear down see if i got any good cylinders in them to put in this body all in all i've got three 82 cc max of that vintage uh two 850s and that 805 um and then i've got one that's a partial saw uh missing the uh handle or sorry the uh handlebar the bottom brace the bottom av mount and muffler stuff like that i've got a partial saw um that's one i'm considering just block just using for the block keep the other parts for spares but to quit jabbering along let's get into this 710 and see what we're working with so I haven't verified that it's lost spark, so let's see. Let's just double check. Get my good spark plug. Set it up here. Make sure it's grounding. Turn it off. Push our fresh button in. This thing's got some good compression to it. I mean, some really good compression. It's about hard to pull it over. I may end up pulling this. Let's call it out sure we're good there get you where you're grounded try and do it where y'all can see oh, man this thing's 
got some compression to it. I'm gonna set it down here on the ground real quick and then I'll let you know if it got spark or not. Come on. I get gotta get it to stick. Yep. It does not have spark. Cause I know this plug works well. That's usually my test plug. So first things first, gotta pull off the handle. Looks like we got honestly all our screws. Looks like this thing's pretty darn complete. I don't think it's been honestly, I don't know if it's been opened up. We will have to change out the gas tap or gas cap because that's not right. It doesn't have a vent, so it won't vent. Um and yeah, so let's hop off in it. Go ahead and pull that guy. I mean, it's had some use. Honestly, it looks like more of it was riding around in the back of a box or something. Um, Cause it just, honestly, just looks like it got beat up. Not by heavy use, but just by being banged around. I do believe this is a true 710. The air filter paint and chipping marks match the tank. It's got the side adjustment for the high and low jet. And I mean, that's about all you can really tell on them without going inside them. It's got the older style uh, exhaust. But it does have the decompression button versus a DSP valve that comes out. So there is that. Let's pull this guy off. Luckily these are all coming off fairly nice which is thankful. Don't know. I believe these were not electronic ignition. I believe could be wrong. I believe these are points. I have a feeling it's going to be something with our points. Whether it be the condenser um, could be a condenser could be points are just corroded Points could just be shot, could have no contact area left. They could come loose and they're not opening. There's no great way to tell, but here, I'll turn this a little bit more that way so y'all can see. I think I may have to go. I think my battery packs for my impact and everything are in the truck. So I'll have to go grab that. Yeah, it was loose. That's nice. There's that. Yep, and it's a point saw. A little cruddy under there, but honestly, not too too terrible under here. Not too terrible at all. Head's pretty darn clean. Looks like somebody took fairly good care of it. I think I might have found out why it lost spark. It's not grounded. That's probably going to be the case. If I were to bet money, because this, this wire right here is not grounded no more. Because it broke off there. Yep. Hey, we may have a real easy fix for this guy. Let me see where to put my needle nose at. Right there. Pull this guy off of there. And I believe this wire right here done broke off. That guy right there. But I believe we can get that guy back open. We'll strip it back. We'll try that first. That came out really, came open really easy. And get this guy. Man, get a pick to get this, this side of it open. Sometimes go with the simple stuff first. Never know. I always try to think of the simple stuff first. I said I was going to go with visual things, and then if that's not the case, then go go to the points. Honestly, probably just going to do the condenser 
then go to the points. Come on. This guy's been a little difficult. Get back open. I don't want to poke my finger. I do that way too much anyways. Got more holes in my finger than I, don't, I know what to do with. Come on. Open up now. Believe we're getting that to open. It's not very well. Let's see if we can grab it from the side. Open it that way. like to reuse these if I can, but I don't know if I'll be able to get this one to open up. Don't believe we shall. May just have to. Yeah, I'll probably just have to end up grabbing wherever I done took the guys. Got a box of, uh, odd and end uh, connectors and we'll just go ahead and use one of them guys on it because I don't believe that guy will work. Can't get it open up enough. I'm probably going to pause y'all real quick while I find my butt connector set. Actually I see it right here. So that's what we got to work with. Feeling you're gonna be one closer to one of these red guys than anything. Let's see. A little bit difficult to see. Nope, that one's gonna be too big. Red's too big. I guess all we got is the blues. Say, look. A little smaller, but not much. Let's see if that you know, eh, fits better. It ain't great by no means, but it's worth a try. So, grab our this guy right here. I don't know if I got my splitters, my strippers here. I may just use, use my razor blade. I don't recommend doing this, but done it enough. Strip it back a little bit. There we go. Strip it on down a little bit. Keep it on through here. We will grab here to crank her on down. Should be about tight enough, I do believe. Then tighten these up just a titch. Don't want to go too far. Tighten those up. Stick it on back in here. There we go. Try to get it out of the way. Let me go grab my uh, battery pack from the truck and we'll spin it over with the uh, impact. See how that goes for us. All right, guys, we're back. Done, got it put on. Just grab my battery pack. Let's spin it over. Come on. Got 
got too much compression with that spark plug in. Gonna wanna try to spin that nut off, so we'll go ahead and pull that real quick here. Oh, these are gonna be one of the small ones. There it is. Grab my wrench. Let's see, also see how it was running. Was it running lean? Was it running rich? Got the small plug in it. Looks like a brand new plug, actually. Ain't got hardly no run time on it. Let's try her now. Still nothing. Let's pull power off. See if that does anything. Or not power, but I kill one. Nothing. Okay. Just double check with the stop plug real quick. Just to be certain, but I doubt it. Yep, still nothing. there just double check that it's getting good contact believe it is try one last time Very rarely have I found these coals to go bad, so you typically it's not them. Nope, I do not believe we have Don't believe we have anything. Alright, so we're going on to the next round, which will be... Where did all that come from? From under there? Bunch of... Some kind of bug. I'm quite sure I'm gonna... I'm gonna sweep that off real quick. Push it off in a box. Or something. Yeah, I'm about out of them. I'm gonna grab a used one. one down here. Yeah, do a clean out. Anyways, way too much true trash in here. I think there's some kind of bug. But they all dead. Good, set that guy back down there. All right, time to pull off the flywheel. Go check on our points. Oh man, that guy's on there good. All right, so what we gonna do is get down right there. Or need another and Whew, that one's on there tight. I tell you. Shoo wee. 
I ain't had one on there that tight in a while. That's a good thing, though. Tis a good thing. Well, didn't mean to pull that all the way off. We'll set it back on there just to, just to where it's flush with the crank. Damn, I will need my me hammer. Really need my framing hammer. Or really need my brass one, but that one's going off somewhere. That about flush with it? I'd say so. Try to keep these things back, but ain't no good way to do that. I typically take a pry bar or something. Go right up underneath it as far as I can. Put some pressure on it. And just tap it. I believe she just popped up. I do believe. Could be wrong. Nope, she popped right out of there. We'll spin it where the magnets ain't touching. It came off fairly smooth. Some of them will really be stuck off in there. But typically, that's the best way I found is just put a little little tension on them, usually on one side. Give them a couple wax with the hammer. They'll come right on out of there. All right. Ooh. That's why it came out of there so smooth. There ain't no key left in it. There ain't a key at all. Unless it done fell out where I didn't see it. But this crank's messed up. Crank's got a chunk out of it. Somebody's either been in here before or something. At least on this side. Hmm. Unless it fell down here, but I ain't seeing it. I don't know if y'all be able to see that, but there's a gouge right in this crank right here. About broke half in half. That is not good. So, hell, if anything, hell, it could have just come out of time from that. I think we got a fairly good connection there. Got a good connection there. That's not even connected up right now. I wonder if it just come out of time because it ain't got a key in it. Wonder. Gotta get this thing to turn some. This thing's a, this thing kind of a hodgepodge, I believe. Let's get that thing. We may have to, may have to put a crank in this bad boy from somebody, something else. Which ain't the hardest thing to do. Just take a little time. Alright, now I gotta figure out where... Typically find fairly close to where you're looking for, right there. Yeah, this thing's got a chunk out of the crank. I feel like this one might be a candidate for. That's about where she's at, right in there. Could be wrong. 
try to get it lined up again. So it should be straight on right there. Yeah, this thing's pretty buggered up. Let's just see if it just come way out of time because of that missing key slash buggered up crank. Now what we're going to have to do is try to get keep the flywheel from turning, which will not be an easy task. While also keeping the crank from turning. Try there. Man, I wasn't expecting for the crankshaft to be busted off like that. It's one of the only ones I've ever run across that done it. Most of mine ain't. Yeah. Still appears to be nothing. Put it on that tight and I don't believe I busted it off because I would have found the pieces I do not believe that was us I believe that happened before and probably a long time ago looking by the grime that's on this guy so I may pause y'all in just a second You ain't got no key or nothing in here. I think I can't even put a key if I wanted to. It's just so mangled up. I mean, I guess I could. But, I don't know much of a way to do that. Alright, I'm going to pause y'all real quick. I'm going to open up these points, see what they're doing, and then I'll bring y'all back. Alright, folks, we're back. That's a hard fought battle right there. I went through, tried a different coil, tried a different condenser, ended up just having to swap out the points. The points were just shot. What it ended up being. But now we have pretty fairly fairly consistent spark. I'll probably end up still ordering a set of points for this. Because the ones I had in it, they're used. I sent them down some, but they're still I mean they're just used, they're old. And uh, like I said, it ain't the most consistent I've ever seen it. Let's see where our, we want to point it about up. That way we can time it again. There we go. Now we will go ahead and put it back together. Now I'll show you that it has part. This one's a little different, a little off compared to the other one. And this cover may not fit this one. No, it don't. Grab the other cover. I found what I did with it. I use it on another top. Oh, there it is. There we go. This is a little bit bigger case. That other one, I believe, was actually a replacement. Um. Placement set of points, to be honest with you. That's what it looked like. Put our little spacers back on. Put this guy back in there. But, yep, it all it ended up being was, wasn't even that wire, it was the points. I did swap out that wire with another one I had. I'll keep that one as a spare. May end up just making a handful of them. There go, got that tightened down. Now we can put our, I believe we're good to put our coal back on, or flower back on. Make sure there ain't nothing behind it. And since we're not, not running a key, this crank, I said it isn't good anyways. It's got a chunk missing out of it. We'll run it for, we won't be running this all a whole, whole lot, so I'm not overly worried about it. Just get her cranked down nice and tight. 
seems about right. Let's see. Right there. That should be it right there. Don't want to move it back. We'll send this down fairly snug. Grab something to hold this flywheel. Use that guy right there. Try to put it in the meat next to the magnets. There we go. Should be tight enough. Now let me show you what we got for spark. Try to put it where y'all can see it. Maybe it'll stay right there and y'all can see that. Get a gun over here. And. Voila. We have spark. Fairly consistent spark, so I'm happy with that. We'll have to see where our timing is, how it runs, but I'm happy with that so far. Just gave that a nice little tug. So we will go ahead, put a plug back in. Find my, there we go, and I'll just use it right behind me. I said somebody's been in that before because the chunks out of the crank aren't there. They're not held in place. They're not down here on my bench anywhere. It didn't fall out from what I could find. So I just don't believe there was there. To start with, sit that guy back down in there. Peel wire. Ah, I'm gonna have to loosen this guy up just a titch and move this guy back. Loosen it up just a little bit more. Move this ground strap back some. There we go. I'd rather have it back there than up there. I'll go ahead and tighten her down. We'll just hold it. Hold it back here. Tighten this guy back down. Make sure these are nice and snug. Because I've had I've had these come off and eat into the flywheel and then you think you've blown the sucker up when the coil just came loose because it as it spins around it's going to shoot metal underneath this cover and it's going to look like it's going to come out of the muffler but it's not it's literally just eating the flywheel make sure we're we're, we're good there i said kind of going to have to be a little weird leery of uh this crankshaft, but I think we'll be all right. So it's not gonna get run a whole, whole, whole lot. So I ain't too worried about it. I'm about to dig some crud out of this uh, uh, flywheel cover, starter cover, and then uh, we'll put that back together. Then we will probably pull the uh, no frift cover off this and see how we look inside our. Uh, our body. Uh, I may go ahead and see what the fuel line looks like. I ain't got a clue. Ain't even been in it. So we will all see together. But let me go clean this out real quick. All right, we're back. Not not perfect, but much better. Got most of the crud out of there. We're gonna set this guy back on. Definitely throw them on their sides for this. Set that guy's right there anyways. Okay. Let's get your starter pole. I typically pull it out a little bit. 
tug this down in there. I believe we're about where we need to be. That should be pretty darn close. Go ahead and this guy goes back here. Let's see. I have to come down just a titch. Guys, Torta. Listen, a little bit of the fly will cover back on this side, chip guard, whatever you want to call it. Just, just a little bit back here, but not bad. I ain't got one to replace it with, unless Torta will offer another saw, anyways. And I think it'll be all right. back up here this one can be a little tricky getting on there we go go ahead and start cranking it on down go ahead grab this one But if I were to do this, typically when I get these saws and they're no spark, start at, what is what I do, pull the kill wire switch first, or the wire going down to your coil, I pull that first, check it, check my grounding wire to the uh, coil, give it a check, and then I'll typically go to the points, try to clean them next. And then if that still ain't cutting it, then I'll try to replace the condenser. And if it's not that, then typically your points are wore out, which was what this one ended up being. The points were just shot. There wasn't no contact area, graphite, I forget, whatever it is left. They're just bare metal. And I can't tell you exactly what, why that, I guess, quote unquote matters, but it does. So... go get these a little last little little tighten take this last guy back here there we go and she's back together so let's pull off her hood here See what we got going there. It's tight. Fairly clean air filter. Car box is unbelievably clean. Looks like we got a fairly new fuel line in here. Like pretty darn new, fairly shiny. Car looks to be honestly brand brand spanking new. Like I'd be shocked if somebody ain't been in here and replaced all this. See how our pump is doing. Oh yeah, she she real springy. I bet somebody rebuilt the carb in this. Did a great job too. See how our it's got a little bit of play in the throttle, but nothing crazy. But there you have it. There's what I do for checking spark on one of these guys. I'm gonna try to see if it'll run as is. I mean, now we know we have spark. We got plenty of compression does look like somebody's had to redo this uh, exhaust before. We may end up doing something different with that cover. Looks like the original cover blew out and they riveted on another cover. I'm not sure. We may make our own. Uh, I've wanted to 
make a cover that had some had a pipe come out of it from up here up at the top angling back this way kind of kind of coming at this angle coming out this way just a short little pipe probably down to right there and coming in it may have to stick out maybe this far coming in at an angle up to about this corner and come in just a titch on it we'll have to probably bender pipe like something like that but i don't know or i could just do some pipes coming straight down i could probably do two of them come straight down i'm not sure but i'm probably going to try to throw something on this i've heard these are pretty darn strong saws when they're going uh, i've never had a 710 i think i have a 710 cylinder head crankshaft uh i think i got oil tank that could go with it but i haven't put it together yet to run against that 700 i put in that 1010 body and I've heard these are pretty good bit stronger than them uh, 700s for whatever reason, port timing, you name it. But uh, we will see. But now we got spark. We'll try to throw some gas in it. Like I said, I got to change out this gas cap. I got to see if I have one over here in my box, my spare part box. Um, let's see here. possible to find uh, I probably have one sitting around here somewhere but that's it oh another cool thing about this 710 which I haven't run across them with these on any of mine I guess it's the easy start system which is got a roller here on the cover and it's a metal cover instead of these typically are like a plastic um, I mean some of them are metal but it's got a roller back here on this corner, which I thought was kind of ingenious. I don't know what exactly safe T start stands for, but uh, um, I think that's pretty nifty. So it doesn't, you won't create a, uh, that cover won't wear out and start wearing through your rope. So that's about all I'm going to get to into on this one tonight. I do want to get to this 266 tonight. I did, uh, did find uh, the carb bolts and everything for that. So we're about to hop on that here in a bit. But I just wanted to see if we could get spark on this guy. May try to throw it, uh, throw it in the truck, try it this weekend, or uh, maybe if I get some time this weekend, I'll try to pull it out and run it. But we're gonna have to change that gas cap because it don't, it's not a vented cap. It goes to like a Husqvarna. I know that because I think it's the same one as uh, what's on my uh, G372 Holtz Forma, which is just a 372 clone. But that's about all I got for tonight on this one. And uh, so I hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate all the support y'all done. I mean, love to hear from y'all in the comments. Really enjoying uh, everything y'all said. I uh, appreciate all the advice. And, uh, We'll see y'all in the next one. If you like what you see, uh, if you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. And you want to see more, subscribe. Because we put out typically on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some days, some weeks, we can post every day. Just depends on how many videos uh, I want. I get done before then, or how many I want to put out at one time, or just sometimes I'll come in here and I won't record a single video i'm just trying to get some stuff done so but i'll quit jabbering uh hope y'all enjoyed it and i will see y'all in the next one thanks y'all